Hello, we've got some Sabi, and that's a car I don't think I've ever seen. <gasps> This thing, what the heck is this? How's the patina? Hey, what's up everyone? We're collecting water and then the roof. That's a kiddie's pool waiting to happen. And it's full of hornets. And this, what model is this? See, that's the joy of car spotting. Okay, people. I've just arrived at the Fukuyama Auto and Clock Museum. Super impressed already. I had put off, what this, I see more over there. And that, the, sorry, that one, I think that's an Isuzu. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing stuff already that I'd never seen before. Yeah, okay, and outside. Now they call this style of bus, I think they said bonetto. Bonnet, no, oh, it could have been just bonnet bus. So like, it's got a bonnet. That's the key point, people. <laughs> Nissan. Wow, Hino, Hino says right there, that's in top nick too, anyway so there's that, Toyota obviously awaiting some parts, hello we've got some Sabi and that's a car I don't think I've ever seen, <gasps> okay people, okay wait up, a Mazda truck this is fascinating and they're gonna say don't walk over there Daniel which I didn't quite hear this is says right there Hino so what are we looking at Toyota underpinnings I have never seen anything like this and the panels are too flat that's a big uh, depression so we're collecting water and then the roof that's a kiddie's pool waiting to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, and there's another bloody bike over there. We'll get there in a sec, people. Um, yeah, where, where are you going to get parts for this? The inside is roomy as heck. And it's full of hornets. Wasps. There's a dead one on the dash. And there's live ones in there too. And the house is over there. So I'm going to leave. There's more little things. But it's basically a storage. And I'm just going to leave that. Babe. We don't want to mess with that. Okay, here it is. What can we see? Moto shop Akatsu. Bro, there's a huge... I think it's uh, the Japanese B. That could be a B. I heard they're pretty uh, docile things. What of oh, oh, this is bloody. Oh, Jesus. I'm out of here, people. There it is. <laughs> Maybe they're docile, but they're big and docile. Anyway, moving on to the next yard. That looks to be a Nissan Junior. I will double check that. It says Nissan right there, and I did see a Nissan Junior. It was a blue one in Fukuoka. It says right there, Nissan Junior 2000. And there's like a matchbox of this car, which is utterly baffling. Why would matchbox make one of these? But whatever. Glad they did. We'll dive in in just a sec, but a Toyota fire truck. Ah, good job. Uh, what else we got up here? And this, what model is this? Wow, I have got no idea what this is. See, that's the joy of car spotting. And that's why I'm not into bloody forums and Google searches. I, I like seeing stuff, people. I don't, I don't like cars like you like cars, is what I want to say to many people. There's some fire trucks and whatnot. Osaka. And another Nissan. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to see, in particular, the uh, Isuzu up the front here, because this is the one... Well, and the, and the one next to it. I think the one next to it is a little Toyota. Anyway, this is my first time to see this. It's an Isuzu. Of course, related to the, the Statesman, the HQ Statesman. For reasons. <laughs> uh, Fukuyama City Shobo. 
Kanji Yomenai Mall. It's a police, uh, sorry, it's a fire station from um, uh, Fukuyama City is what, is what it is. Look at that, people. What's the, what's the model name of this? Isuzu what? I'm just blanking at the second. I think there could be one in Australia. Is it owned by Dave Carey? 1500, I can't pop the bottle. Well, maybe I can. I'm sure I can open the door. I'm sure I can open it. Oh, original colour! Oh, I almost missed it. This little one here, Mini Ace. Uh, of course, there's a van version of the of the Mini Ace, yeah? Or was that called the Toyo Ace? Yeah, whatever, same face, same door, same thing. But then the whole cab, uh, sorry, the body at the back's different. Anyway, I can't wait to go back and get all my photos for this one. What the heck is that? Oh yeah. See, this is probably more my cup of tea, if we're honest. Very convenient ashtrays for everyone. It was a different era, people. Um, the patina is on point. And I think we're going to be able to get a good view of it from over here. So, uh, what is it, people? The unmistakable Mazda styling. This styling is amazing. That is a great look. Great vision. You'd want to have your seatbelt on. You wouldn't want to stop too much, uh, too quickly and get launched. But uh, great styling there. Well done. Bravo. That's very cool. I need more information on that. There's our uh, Coupe 7, of course. And <laughs> they're back. British Taxi. Let's just move on pretty quickly. Popular. I'll be the judge of that, buddy. Uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> there you go. Isuzu 117 which is cool and I got a rush Isuzu Gemini this is the second generation Gemini uh, one of those owners you know what I'm saying it ha it's had one of those owners I think you know what I mean S secret police I thought so Ajinomoto what is <laughs> why <laughs> that's a packaged consumer good Dr dry, uh, food goods, reflectors, safety. What is that? What does that refer to? This is a sports car club. I mean, love, sure. Wow, what? Ah. Hey. Actually, it could have been owned by by uh, resident owner. I, I should uh, I should be careful what I. Not what I, well, I mean, not, I should be careful what I say, but also what it sounds like I'm saying, because uh, there's going to be people watching this who don't speak uh, English, and just going to suggest by my tone, but I love it, I love it, I love it, let's check out these wheels, now um, that's the, the, the Shishi uh, dog that is associated with this one, it's, an, it's a late model, it's got the quad square headlights, but very, very cool wheels, how are you doing? Uh, but time for me to scoot to the next place. Uh, charcoal gas fuel. Uh, I have seen a Jeep with this sort of setup before. Fascinating. That was in Iwakuni, not far from here. Ah, sort of is. Uh, what is that? To Toyo Pet? What the? Was that? What the Toyo Pet? What? I've never seen this before. Condition is spectacular, actually. Must have been restored, surely. Definitely. Uh, it's ye olde people. <laughs> Wood. Wood. Wow, super simple. Wow, the, the body frame is wood. And uh, coach built, like a coach builder. Would have, would have made that, that's just fascinating. No stickers or any information at the back, fair enough, but uh, fascinating vehicle. Hand fabricated, amazing. Isuzu, Isuzu. More people coming in. Wow, that's a fancy bus. With uh, what a caboose, is that what the, that style of caboose? I got no idea. I'm just making stuff up. Open top bus. See, you know, I have, uh, one of my hobbies is to collect postcards of old Japanese castles 
from like the 19, early 1900s, right? And this is exactly the sort of see, uh, sort of bus that you, you see hanging out in front of um, castles, like Nijo Castle, for example. Now this thing, what the heck is this? It's probably another Mazda, is it? It's, uh, I've never seen that. Daihatsu, it says so right there. A Daihatsu, that is, it's like a boat. That's incredible. I mean, it's rough as guts. And uh, we wouldn't have it any other way, would we, people? I've never seen this before. What can we see? There we go. A bit rugged as you'd expect. Rust. Uh, yeah, massive, massive uh, bed in this one. However, I just wonder at the engine capacity. I mean, is it visible? Where's the engine? Um, probably some small number of cylinders. Uh, I, can see, I can see the radiator up there, suspension, travel. Yeah, anyway, got to find out more about that one. Karina, what the heck? Oh, i got to pass this on to my buddy. Oops, had to uh, pause proceedings for reasons. What does it say here? Started... Okay, started in Japan, presumably went uh, to Canada, the US, through the Americas up to Europe, I don't know what's going on here, maybe that, and then, whatever people, it's been everywhere. Mr. Bean style car security, what a fascinating vehicle. 1994, okay, so maybe not uh, dawn of the internet, but uh, I've never really seen much of this generation of Carina, have we? It's uh, front wheel drive, Great is, is, is SG Carina. People checking out my awesome machine of doom over there. This is very kind of them. And uh, wow, this is absolutely amazing. Incredible tint. Incredible tint. Oh, shout out to Benny. Uh, Land Cruiser uh, of, of this body style is what I'm trying to say. But it's incredible. The, the, the tech, it's like it's been paper mache. Such is the smoothness. It's incredible. Uh, this museum is something else. Really is. Like it's all good, people. It is just all good. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There we go. Can you see the texture? It's incredible. Incredible. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> we okay? This is one of the best car museums I've ever been to in Japan. Get yourself here. Absolutely gold. Oh, wait up. Get yourself here if you like what I like. <laughs> because uh, it is absolutely fantastic. One of the best. One of the best people. So thanks so much for joining me. Hope you're all well. Subscribe if you haven't already. There is bonus content for you, Patreons and channel subscribers. So consider it, please. Take it easy. Goodbye.